In the 1930s, King Kong's impact on popular culture was so great that the first animated feature of the character wasn't an official King Kong title. It was, however, a parody, and the giant ape shown in King Klung is unmistakably meant to be King Kong, and the name is a huge giveaway. This is a 1933 animated short directed by Walter Lance, featuring the iconic character Pooch the Pup. It parodies King Kong and follows Pooch and his girlfriend Poodles on a quest to photograph King Klunk, a giant gorilla in Africa. After a series of encounters and a showdown with a giant lizard, they bring King Klunk to New York City, where he climbs a building in a nod to the iconic finale of King Kong. Kingu Kongu 00107 Oya Yubi Tomo, commonly known as The King Kong Show, is an anime-influenced series produced by Videocraft International and Toei Animation. Airing on ABC in the United States from September 10, 1966 to August 31, 1969, it holds the distinction of being the first anime series created in Japan for an American company. The look of Kong here is quite a basic reflection, but bears a close resemblance to the original live-action version. In the series, King Kong forms a relationship with the Bond family, embarking on various adventures where he combats monsters, robots, aliens, mad scientists, and other threats. Unlike King Kong's traditional destructive roles in films, the cartoon portrays him as a protector of humanity. In 1967, Kong made a cameo appearance in Mad Monster Party, and this was a crude stop-motion animation. He is shown with brown fur and cartoonish, exaggerated ape features. King Kong appears briefly during a musical sequence in the film, where he is depicted as a monstrous yet playful creature. The iconic presence of King Kong has made numerous appearances in the Simpsons series. For instance, in Bart Gets an F, Homer and Bart watch a film called Gorilla the Conqueror, reminiscent of King Kong's tale, where a massive gorilla wreaks havoc on a city before being captured. Another notable segment, King Homer, from Treehouse of Horror 3, sees Homer depicted as King Kong, Marge as Ann Darrow, and Mr. Burns as Carl Denham offering a humorous twist to the original story with a wedding between King Homer and Anne. Throughout the series, references to King Kong appear in various contexts, from dreams and daydreams to imaginative scenarios, reflecting the enduring influence of the classic monster on popular culture. The Mighty Kong is a 1998 animated monster musical film, serving as an adaptation of the timeless King Kong tale. Produced by Lana Productions, it marks the seventh installment in the King Kong franchise. The voice cast, led by Jody Benson and Dudley Moore, brings the story to life. Animation for the film was completed overseas, primarily by South Korean studios like Hanshin Corporation, along with contributions from Jade Animation in Hong Kong. The design has that Warner sparkle that you get with Looney Tunes. In this retelling of the classic tale, Down on Her Luck actress Anne Darrow joins film director Carl Denham on a voyage aboard the venture for a new film shoot. Trouble ensues with a mischievous ship monkey, and upon reaching the island, Anne is captured by the giant gorilla, King Kong. Together, they face various prehistoric creatures. Kong later rampages through New York City, ultimately climbing the Empire State Building with Anne. Despite efforts to subdue him, Kong falls from the building but miraculously survives. Kong the Animated Series, a co-production between BKN International, Ellipse Animation, and M6, debuted in France on May 2, 2001. It follows King Kong, inspired by the 1933 film, and was created to rival Godzilla the series. Notably, it was the first BKN show not to air in syndication upon its premiere on September 9, 2000. The animation style is quite comic book inspired, 
but Kong's look is close to the original 1930s design. The success of the animated series led to an animated sequel movie. The movie acted as a follow-up to the plot of the series, aiming to capitalize on the popularity of the 2005 King Kong remake. It focuses on Kong's efforts to defend the legendary island from a powerful sorceress who is part human and part snake. Victory is mine! Atlantis is free! <laughs> In 2006, a standalone sequel titled Kong Return to the Jungle was created, featuring computer-generated animation instead of traditional methods used in the initial film and series. The plot revolves around hunters apprehending Kong and various island creatures for exhibition in a unique zoo setting. In 2016, Netflix got in on the King Kong action, commissioning a computer-generated animation which shows Kong as a much smaller ape than originally designed, and given a much more human and child-friendly persona. In the year 2050, Kong is wrongly accused of causing chaos at Alcatraz Island's natural history and marine preserve. Unbeknownst to the humans pursuing him, Kong has been framed by a villainous mastermind with a plan to unleash giant robotic dinosaurs on the world. With humanity threatened by these mechanical beasts, Kong must enlist the help of three children who are aware of his innocence and the true danger posed by the villain's scheme. Kong also appeared in a cameo role in the Lego Batman movie in 2017. He appears in Lego form, shown climbing the Empire State Building in a playful nod to his classic portrayal. Building Skull Island, which came out in 2023, is an animated adventure TV series created by Brian Duffield exclusively for Netflix. It marks the fifth entry in the inaugural television adaptation within the MonsterVerse franchise, serving as a follow-up to the film Kong Skull Island. It's made in a Western anime style, and Kong is closely representative of how he looks in the MonsterVerse, although his fur appears browner in color here. During the 1990s, a team of explorers sets out to rescue Annie from the sea, but ends up stranded on Skull Island. They must navigate the perilous island's hazards, contending with giant creatures and terrifying monsters like Kong as they fight for survival.